Welcome back to IT Laldi, Naked Courses, and again, this is part two for the Azure stack. Previously, we have covered like an overview, how that look like, benefit, architecture, high level, and scenarios. For today, we will be talking about the hybrid scenarios. What does that mean for us? How we can implement it? And what is the objective here? Start with the app pattern you know data uh, was set at the moment and intenting and the promises and how azure stack plus like blob table queue storage will allow me to use the apps in azure yeah so it's a win-win situation but it's basically if you have a data and will continue to remain on premise but you can consume the tools sitting you know either externally by microsoft to do the analytics and you do the you can benefit from these tools so how that how can i benefit from these tools and you know the cloud something like this basically i can you know do cloud burst i can utilize scale up scale down i can use a pipeline you can see as you stack where it's sitting you can see my data sitting on premise uh, they are not moving from wherever are hosted either regional requirement government requirement however everything on premise but my uh, let's we call it like layer 7 or by uh, front end will be hosted consumed from the Microsoft public cloud and this scenario we will be using CI CD pipeline to do the deployment scale up scale down and to if you see that pattern it's basically two separate resource templates may require degree of orchestration from the CI CD perspective and other infrastructure hosted or PaaS surface now with this in mind, let's we go to the next and see how that will look like, you know. And we will have, if you remember from the previous session, we spoke about three scenarios, and this is the Azure as a secure edge, which means we can utilize the firewalls, you can do all the uh, fancy stuff Microsoft do in order to detect any unusual DOS or you know activities, and then we can consist, we will use it as an edge to secure our environment. And that will basically be something like this, you know, Azure, we got traffic manager controlling where and how from a geo distributed application across like the regions like AMR, APAC, EMEA and so on. Yeah. Now, these are some of the examples, some of the benefits. Now, let's we start with basically and see how that ecosystem will look like for us. Now we go move on to the next. You see like Azure stack uh, portal and this is the how it looks like and you know you can you can see that one says like the title of it is exactly it looks like the portal we use from the you know microsoft however here you can see it says like portal.local.azure you know like test whatever you want to call it and it looks like exactly like the uh, public one and the cloud operation module will be something like this yeah we got the use azure customers we go to operation the engineer team and then you see the Azure stack we're sitting and you see the customers who they are. Yeah. Cloud architect, operator. And in another session, I'm going to cover their roles and how they to look like and who will be responsible for what. Yeah. But these are sort of like a high level and uh, the operation of it and the ecosystem. And the surfaces and Azure surface uh, stack will look something like this, basically. Uh, if I have web, mobile and API application. App surfaces, paths, serverless, Azure uh, function, surface fabric, Kubernetes, cloud boundaries, key vault, storage, networking, Docker container, virtual machines. All these are basically are participating in the hybrid module. Yeah. So we will basically uh, consume the paths and infrastructure for these activities. Here is some of the ecosystems uh, work with tools, technologies that work with Azure. And the goal is basically all these application services that are certified for Azure and Azure Stack can be utilized. I mean, they are very popular and the list is getting more and more and it's getting larger and larger. And hopefully the next session, what I will do, I will cover for you now how we can install this SDKs and then we can cover this integration interaction between the cloud and the on-premise system. So what is the take point from from all, all this session basically so uh, the, 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 we've noticed Microsoft are moving toward like open source cloud uh, uh, 
let's just say fun foundry open source platforms we have like if you notice we have like chef docker and with vm extensions we have some container template like using you know like docker swarm kubernetes dc slash os we have like you know a red hat and susi linux and os images we have a sent os ubuntu core os debian and with the networking and security integration load balancers firewalls and we got uh, uh, now we got the camp you know, technologies available on the last part we have around something like you know uh, validation or uh, for, for open stacks like wordpress lamp mysql mongodb uh, bitnami and blockchain template all of these are basically are available and the list getting more and more and improvement it's on the roadmap for the next six months to uh, add more tools to this one so next we will cover the azure stack uh, development kit and the interaction between the system that's all what i had for you for this session let's we catch up later on thank you goodbye